Yeah, where are you? I see. I think in front. Hold up! God almighty, do you know it's awful when the first lot go ahead and the back lot's behind me and I'm all in the middle on my own and I think, shit, where do I go? This is Margaret. She's a librarian in her 50s and she's hashing tonight. Hashing is a form of cross-country running and Margaret's a member of the Mendip Hills Hash House Harriers. Every Monday they meet at a different Somerset pub and follow a circular trail marked with flour, full of false turnings set by other hashes. But we need to probably head to the slag to make sure we're there before them. One of the obstacles for the 30 people running tonight is a 50-foot slag heap. I think the winter torchlit runs are quite magical. But what makes the rest of this disparate group take to the hills in the dark together? Well, I mean, when it comes to us, we're just playing barking mares, aren't we? You know, that's Three. like... And the more barking, the better is what I like. Three group! Hashing isn't competitive, and the runners regularly stop to regroup, which means men and women, young and old, run together. Hold <laughs> up! Oh my gosh, what are they doing down there? It's hard! Sit on the hill like that, look. Yeah, fine. I've been a member of the Mendip Hash for 18 months, and somehow its simple pleasures and fluid sociability have got under my skin. The idea is to vaguely understand why we're doing this. <laughs> I, I think you're on a, on a lost mission there, you know, lost cause. And here we have Declan talking to the wildlife. <laughs> we're afraid of the big bulls, that's all. These, yeah. ones, these little ones I can kill with. You can kill with them. Yeah, the big ones, they're a bit heavier. <laughs> I've been surprised by the hash's diverse range of backgrounds. Martin is the grand hash master, and he was a military man. I was a territorial start, but I did quite a lot of work with regulars. So, and I had a job that took me to in the army as well. Yes. So, uh, I was uh, over ten years, about twelve years, <laughs> doing it. So, uh, I was a navigation instructor as well. So, <laughs> that's why I don't get lost on the hashes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's dangerous for most people, put it that way. I didn't go up the slack. Oh, you didn't? No, no, I didn't. I went about a few, about five, ten feet up, and then I was slipping and sliding. Well, I went up it in about sort of 20 seconds. I went down it in about eight. Well, you're a young maniac, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to look after my joints. <laughs> From my short time with the club, one thing has become very apparent. The Mendip Hash is not just a group to run with, but a club to belong to. You don't get here at once, you'll be trouble. Don't worry, don't worry, it'll only take a second. Where's that cream pie got? Nick, this is your birthday. Whoa! Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. It's Nick's 50th birthday, so Pat's made a cake. She makes dozens for the hashes each year. Unfortunately, today she's injured. I went on a pogo stick tonight. Martin pushed me off. No, he didn't. I thought I couldn't let the women down. The women had to have a go. I've never met a group of such loosely connected people who are so committed to supporting each other. And if it's not about the running, what is it? Over six months from midwinter to midsummer, I'm going to find out.